Hey everyone, you probably heard of pulse width modulation if you've been around synthesizers for a while. It's a pretty common effect that you can find, and it sounds something like this. I'm using the mono machine here. And you might know that the reason that that happens is you take a square wave, and what they have the synthesizer do is pinch that down so that this side of the square wave is very narrow compared to the other side. So I was thinking to myself, I wonder why no synthesizers has sine width modulation. And I thought about it some more, and I thought, you know, I think the mono machine could be made to do this. So what would this involve? Well, you'd have to get a sine wave like we've got here. And then what we'd try to do is take one half of the sine wave and squish it down just like you would in pulse wave modulation. So let's say this is 200 hertz. I'm going to take this top half and make it 400 hertz. So it might look a little something like this. And then I got to put the rest of the, I got to figure out what would be the rest of the length here. And I would just um, put that other sine wave half in there. And uh, I could also make one, you know, 800 hertz. It might be something like this. And then we'd put the rest of the sine wave back in there. So that is something that you can do with a little bit of free time and a spreadsheet. So I took these different sine waves, cut them up, splice them together, some calculations and all that. And we can put them in the mono machine and use the wave function, the DigiPro wave function to, to load up those waves. And it has the ability to gradually interpolate between those or fade, fade them over. So there's this time feature where we can set the time to a small value so it'll gradually fade one into the other. So I've been playing around with this and let's hear what some of these sounds like. Can get some nice pulsating bass sounds here. And you can get some interesting pads. Now the pads, we can't get the fading function. It just kind of jumps through, but I, I think that's an interesting sound it, nonetheless. So we get this. You can hear that scintillating sound. Also do uh, different other kinds of basses. Again, great for roaring kind of bass sounds. Or we can have uh, some interest, some nice leads, something like this maybe. So some fun things to be had with the mono machine and cutting up some sine waves and doing some sine width modulation. It's not true sine wave modulation because you have to make about uh, make some waveforms. I did about 10 of those before I got a little bit bored of cutting up sine waves, but you could add in as many as you like and get a closer and closer um, kind of effect to a pure sine width modulation. Thanks for watching.